welcome back, loyal subjects of funk, to this Let's Funking Play Mountain Blade Viking Conquest. Now, in the last session, what happened was that we had a good kerfuffle with uh, the King of East Anglia, or the East Angles, and it was a bit of a skirmish. I lost two men, he lost ten. We held our own, but I fell unconscious, otherwise, we would have been able to perhaps defeat him. If we could take down all the archers, then there's no problem in the hand to hand for the rest. So, I've had a lot. I've been complaining a lot about this because it's just it's it's just not. Ooh, that's what I want to see. Come here, Oswald. Your village is under attack again. I'd love to fight Oswald. Is is he running away from me? Fuck off. That was lucky, wasn't it? Oh, I just want to fight someone, eh? Oh, my God. I feel like drawing this to a close, this Let's Play, because it's just not going anywhere. They haven't fixed it. They released a patch a couple of days ago, which appears to have done sweet fuck all. My village is constantly under fucking attack. They haven't even fixed the ferry system yet, which just absolutely baffles me. What's this? Bring five fucking up. Well, whatever. Let's get out of here. I'm fed up with this shit. We'll go and see what we can do back up in our own spot. Perhaps build and uh, buy a couple of more boats if we're lucky. And uh, perhaps protect our village a bit better. Somebody keeps chasing them away from our village, but our village hates us because of this. It, it's, we've got like minus 17. Oh, look, here we go. You have to hold the space bar if you want to cross the thing. That means that I'm vulnerable to attack at any time. If um, if I were a good man, see, seen Bert or whoever sees us and attacks us, that's it, I'm fucked, despite me technically being on a ferry. You fuck off attacking my spot. So what we'll do is, we'll try and get rid of this medium sized group of enemies near Middletown if we can. We'll try and build a new building inside Middletown because I think we were building a school last time and uh, I think that'll be finished by now, it must be 15 days later. And uh, then we'll go and buy some boats and hopefully that'll give us something to do because uh, I didn't want to leave it too long before I recorded more episodes of this because what I wanted to do is get myself in a really good position so it looked like I, oh, we've only got 14,000 pennings now Jesus it's becoming harder, we can't afford this boat that we're looking for but we'll be able to afford a boat of some sort so what we'll have to do is I'm just making these as a sort of stopgap between the last episodes and when I get somewhere new and important because I play this quite regularly and I've probably not recorded a good six hours of footage just fucking around and here trying to get somewhere a bit better than we already have been but sadly we've, I almost recorded some new episodes the other day when um, I got a message off the general saying can you meet for a council of war and we will march on the East Engels. And, um, guess what? They asked me to accompany him, and I did. I followed him, and I thought, yes, we're going to march on the East Engels. Everything's going to be fan funk king tastic. And then he just stopped and just sat there, and this, uh, there was like five yarls just sitting there doing sweet funk all. And um, after I, I just decided, right, well, we'll make camp. Maybe they're just waiting here to gather more troops or whatever. And I just got a message saying, mission complete. The campaign is over. And I was fucking fuming. <sighs> it's happened to me twice that now. And every time it, every time I receive the message, I'm, received, I'm filled with hope. I am filled with fucking hope. And guess what? It's hope that hope is squashed each and every time. Right, what are we gonna do this time? Uh, 
Let's find the enemy, and I'll plonk my troops on one of these hills, or these mounds, and we'll just fucking sit there. And I'll go and take out the leader with my spear, so it'll break easier. If they've got any standard bearers, we'll do that as well. New enemies have arrived. What the hell do you mean, new enemies have arrived? I put the game on, so you could only have 200 men. only have 200 men. Hey, right in the face. Only have 200 men on the map at once. But that doesn't seem to have come off at all. I can see the leader. Bollocks. Wow. The horses took a lot of damage there again. Just like in the last session. But unfortunately... I don't know what the hell's happening. Haha! <laughs> Bowman nailed him right in the face. Here we go, here he is. Gotta kill him. Gotta kill him. Fuck's sake. That's what I hate about these frames dropping. Is that we don't get to, uh We sometimes miss... ...critical hits. Where the hell's these archers gone? Come here, you nartoid. Here he is again. Oh. Just want to get him to sit down and shut up. That was a good hit. Shit, 15 damage to the horse, that was pretty spectacular. Sit down, Bowman. Yes, just in time. Just when the troops were to collide. Collide the score. Cool. Taking these down swiftly. Oh, I fucking hate these frames. I explained the story in the last session of how we're having to use really shit RAM. That was an abnormal, uh, that was a really abnormal frame drop. It's happening again. Oh, shit. I don't want anyone to hear me. I just want them to all charge. of fun. The king of fun's YouTube channel. I love this YouTube channel. I just wish more people would love it too. Because it's a very poor size for a year's worth. Mind you saying that. There's quite a lot of channels that are going a lot faster than that. And I have got some Total War stuff coming up soon. This fucking game is doing my head in now. What the hell is wrong with it? I downsized the amount of men you can have on a map at once. And it's really starting to cheese me off. Look at how much fucking frames we're dropping and why? Right, we'll be having no more battles this session. Zero more battles. I had one man wounded, which was a watchman. They had none at all. 
That's why we've gained seven morale. We'll let him go because we get fourteen rep from that for that. I'm temp I was tempted though just to keep him then, and you can go and sell him in a quarry. You'll never see them again because once they go into the quarry, they can't come back. It's not like ransoming. Uh, it's not like giving them to a slave trader or anything like that. Or putting them up for ransom. Different ball game. Battle is over. What you do with the loot? Leave all your loot for your men because we need the piss and morale. Because morale's a serious problem in this game. Right. Well, at least we got away with that, and we'll go back to Middlesham. We'll see what we have on offer to um, to build, to enhance our little village that hates us, minus ten. Christians are tolerated here. Manage village, we have a Christian monastery, so that's good. So we'll convert them over time. What does a mana do? A mana lets you rest all the... Let lets you rest at the village and pay your troops half wages while you rest. As a party member with the highest engineer skill five, you reckon the building the manor will cost six thousand pennings and take twenty three days? Let's just have a look at what we've got. A mill increases village prosperity by five percent. As a party member with the highest engineering skill five, you reckon that building the mill will cost you Village Prosperity, that's good. Eighteen days. And the school 25 days oh loyalty of the religious by plus one every month that's the one loyalty is everything you see we'll get all of them eventually though we've got quite a few so far we built some of the basic cheap ones to begin with like the uh, the scout post and the messenger so that uh, we can get messages sent to us if the enemy is uh, attacking my village and the other one is uh, the scout post will send me a little message at the bottom of the screen here telling me to um, tell me that there's uh, been a party of men spotted in the area. I'm not even sure we have enough uh, enough uh, coppers left to purchase what we came here to purchase, which was uh, some boats. Let's see if we can get a cheap boat. Just give me a bloody cheap boat. We should still have one in the dock. I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me though if the boat had disappeared. See the ships. This is my flagship. Boats for sale. How many pennings do we have? I have 7,000 pennings. Next ship. Right, so crew 11. That's an orc. Well, we're going to have to get this one just because it carries 11 men as opposed to the really basic so we can have 18 capacity of 18 now <laughs> ah, and if we sail from port we don't have room for 72 of your men so we've got a small uh, fleet building there now which is I suppose okay in Bebembra but it's not really doing much for us at the moment so things could be a damn sight better now what to do because we clearly need to save up for this fleet but I have a feeling that's not going to come good it's going to take more than this session to save up for a fleet though I'm afraid so let's have a look in the notes, see if we've got anything we can do. Denou denounce Lord. You intend to openly de denounce Hersey Harold to his face on behalf of Jarl Rathbarg Ragnarsson. Should we do that? Should we just fucking do this? Right. Well, we'll go to Jorvik and we'll find somebody who's got current reports of what he's doing. Hersey Ragnarald. Who are we doing that for? Hersey Harold by Hersey Rathbath Ragnarsson right ok we'll go to Jorvik get this sorted, get this out the funk king way and hopefully that will improve matters for me at least
because I'm bored of just fighting battles and stuff. Ooh! Eight, seven bowmen? I want you! Well, we can't, we can't catch it. I'd like to catch him, but we're not going to. Visit training grounds, trade with locals, wait here some time. Uh, yeah, that's what we want to do. Lord's Hall, so we can ask an individual. Hopefully, there'll be someone here. Kingdom's Bard, Bishop Monk, Spearman, and Dragger. There must be. Townswoman, Townsman, Freeholder, Townsman. <sighs> what the fuck is going on here? Maybe I knew I knew this would happen. If I'm lucky though, maybe this guy might know. No, I have absolutely no use for you, sir. Shit times. Maybe we should have a stroll through town. And if we're lucky, we might be able to talk to someone who knows a little bit about what the funk's going on. I do like the the graphics on this though. They've done well to really improve them, which is why this is a lot more high demanding than previous Mountain Blade expansions or titles but it just should have been released at the right time and it was released way too early not that I'm complaining because this has been my most su successful YouTube series <laughs> and I remember I put up part one for anybody who's who hasn't who doesn't know the feeling of trying to make your channel successful and you put up that video and I checked it like an hour later and it was up to like 300 views and I was just like what the funktastic I couldn't believe it I couldn't believe it oh, I was getting 10 subscribers a day back then but now nobody's here that knows uh, anything but now we're back to normal and it's a shame the game's broke because I would have I would have been on about uh, video 20 by now. But it is broke, so there's fuck all we can do. I'll have to go back up to Bebinburgh and uh, see if anybody's there. I mean, probably most of our lords. Yes. Yes, finally. Connac chat has declared war against the Kingdom of Northumbria. Blacksmiths have stopped producing plows to forty swords and spears. War has been declared. Peace agreement. Right, so we're now at war with. Finally, a new development, guys. This this will be good now, for a small amount of time until the novelty wears off. Let's go down. What what can we locations factions? Uh, factions, yes. This is the one I think we're at war with. Where's Northumbria? We're at war with East Engle. We're at war with these. So, let's have a look at... Yes, I was hoping it would... Oh, shit! We've got to go right over to... Uh... <laughs> To Ireland, but tell you what, that'll make for a good story, won't it? Right, well, let's travel to Ireland. Let's get the funk out of here. Let's go and find a major port. Right, where can we sail from? Maybe we can sail from Bebinburgh. It'll take a fucking long time, though, to get right around there. I'll probably have to pay my, my uh, troops' wages, which I don't have. <laughs> which is something that I haven't thought of yet. Because we only have 1,000. And 57 pennings. If hopefully the prisoners I have are worth more than a thousand pennings, which they will be if we can find a. Uh, oh, and we need some to take us across. If we can pay a week's wages, then we can definitely find enough scrape enough coins together to pay the men another week's wages once we're over there. Let's go into the meat hall. Please be a slave trader. The meat hall, sorry. I think it's a meat hall then. Freed man. Freed man. Old captain. There is no slave trader. No slave trader. 
Zeva fucking slave traders. Fuck's sake. Fuck it. Let's travel to another port. <sighs> Shit, we, we should, uh. Edinburgh, Ribe, Tunesburg, Durestan, Dunwick, Selrigmanoid. <laughs> Selrigmanade. We'll have a look at that one. I'm gonna have to look in the map to see what where Selrigmanade is, because there's no point in travelling somewhere. That isn't of value. Right, what we got? It's certainly not over here, is it? Oh, that's not what it seems. The Orkney Islands. That's cool. Wow, they're really close, aren't they? Never realised how close uh, Scandinavia they put it on this map. <laughs> they must have just done that to make things easier. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> right, so it's got to be one of these coastal cities. We've got one there called Ilech. Got one here called Raf Siltar. And Dubun Lin. Dublin. <laughs> There's only three major cities. I don't think this will go to any of them. Right. Let's see what the fuck happens. Dunwick, Dorset. Nah. None of them are there. So. Fuck! Why does things have to get harder? I understand that we're on the other side of England, but I'd rather just take the really long trip right round. Right, let's look for another coastal city. Right. We're gonna have to go there. Which means we're going to have to pay some wages on the way up. Which means we're probably going to have deserters. Which means I'm going to get angry and bring my fist down. Right. We come up here. And we go straight to there. No fucking about this time. No messing about. Don't go in that farmland, that's a tip. There's an ambush waiting there to squash any Funk King poor sods. Oh, we, so we actually conquered Edinburgh. Was that? I don't think Edinburgh was always ours. It must have been. I mean, some of these are. Uh, Nations are actually, I think, expanded and swept across many, many parts. Well, I can't remember conquering Edinburgh. These are all travelling to Dunban as well. They look weak. Very small troops, not, nothing compared to the sort of fighting we've had down in a... Uh, you know where. Right, so hopefully this one will either take us till Aleach. Oh, Raf Silta. I'm just hoping this will come good. I bet we have to pay wages just before we board the uh, the boat, which would uh, be really infuriating, wouldn't it? Because <sighs> fuck off. I don't care if they disappear. I run on me because. To be honest, we can't maintain the army that we've got. Right, travel to another port. Come on. Give me the option to go to Ireland. Double in. Yes. We'll go to Raf Sealter. You do not have enough fucking money. Do you know what that reminds me of? Dungeon Keeper, you do not have enough gold. Let's try one of the others. Let's try fucking double in. Do not have enough money. And we'll try the last one just for shits and giggles. Uh. Oh man, we're only missing 500 pieces. 
of silver. Let's quickly trade with the locals and see if there's anything we can sell. There's fuck all we can sell. In fact, we're all living off bread. I'm not giving up any of this stuff. Right, guys, what I'll do is I will get the gold, I will get the girl, and I will um, be back here for the next video and we'll cross over to Ireland and fight some battles. So I'll do all that off screen and we'll start recording when it's time to cross over. So thank you for watching and goodbye. <laughs>